Tori Ann here with another awesome homeschool resource from my homeschool to your homeschool. Today, I want to tell you about a book that's been in my life for mm, almost probably 35 years. But the copy I'm going to show you isn't 35 years old. I went, I used to read it as a child. And then when I started homeschooling, I knew I had to have one for my family because I loved it so much as a kid. And yeah, we love it here too. It's called The New Way Things Work. And maybe you remember this book. It was just called The Way Things Work. And then David McCauley made the new version called The New Way Things Work. He updated it because there were so many new things he wanted to include. Now, the book was published in 1988, which means that it's almost 20 years old. So this book is not going to tell you about Facebook or Snapchat or Instagram, but the mechanical stuff in here is still truly applicable. So what makes this book so, so, so fun? Well, let me show you. First of all, the graphics and the images are amazing, and David McCauley does both. But this is my favorite thing. He decided to use mammoths as kind of the basis for how he describes a lot of things. So if I go back here to this page, at the very beginning, he starts talking about simple machines. And for example, he starts by explaining the inclined plane, which is one of the most simple of them all. And he explains it by how they have to lift mammoths and they have to try to lift them up high and ca to capture them, or actually not lift them. They have to capture mammoths by bonking them on the heads. And it takes so much work to have all of these people. Can you see this? Can it take all these people to lift the boulder up and drop it on the mammoth's head. Or they can do it the easy way by rolling it up the hill and then dropping it on the unsuspecting mammoth. Now before you get down in the comments and tell me it's a truly violent book, the mammoths and the people actually become friends. They only knock them out so they can then use them to help them do other kinds of mechanical work. So he starts with these really simple things, but then he starts explaining with graphics all other kinds of things, like like a lawn sprinkler. Look at this, a lawn sprinkler, and he gets he describes it in these intricate, intricate detail, these deep, deep pictures. And yes, I know you can go on YouTube now and you can watch all sorts of videos, but I think this is really, really valuable because a kid can look at it. They can tangibly hold it and you can stop and you can point. There's just a difference when you're looking at a book versus a video. I love videos, use them all the time, still love my books. So what kinds of things are in this book? What kinds of things does he talk about? Well, really simple stuff, obviously, like lawn sprinklers and car seat belts and faucets. But then he gets into stuff like the helicopter, how a toilet works, blast furnace and steel converter. I just, it goes on, a printing press. Look at this, and he shows how the different colors work together. Pages and pages, because this is not a thin book. This is a huge book. You could build an entire science physics curriculum out of this book. What? I know, so, so, so exciting. All you'd have to do is read and then go down the bunny trails. Here's one about adding and subtracting colors. So he goes into light. He goes into the mechanics of things. He goes into smoke detectors, solar cells. Oh, I just get so excited because it's so full of exciting content. I love this book. I can't highly recommend it any higher than my like five star awesome. I don't even know. I just made that up. Five star awesomeness because I like this book so much. There is also some series out there that were made built off this book that were put together later. And if I can find a link for those, I will totally link. But as you know, if this is a book that you think would really help support making learning in your fun, learning in your homeschool fun and inspiring, then, you know, check out the link up above or, you know, down below or wherever it is because it shows up all over the place when I put this out in the various places on the internet. But go check it out and I think it's one you just want to have around because it's such an amazing resource, amazing reference. Kids are going to just thumb through it and love it. And there's this kind of this storyline that goes through it that's a lot of fun, which as a language arts nerd, I totally loved that when I was reading it growing up. All right, I'm Tori Ann Perky. From my homeschool to your homeschool, I am here collecting and reviewing and telling you about all sorts of amazing things to help you have a fun, inspiring, engaging homeschool.